Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and in this session of the video we're going to talk about the diaphragm. We have already discussed about the opening of the diaphragm, we're going to uh, add that uh, thing in the our playlist. But let's talk in this session about the diaphragm, so let's get it started. The diaphragm is actually the most important muscles of respiration, which is actually a thin muscular and tendinous septum which actually separates the chest cavity which is above and the abdominal cavity and this is the only point where both cavities are separated and this is the role of the diaphragm so it's actually dome shaped you can see that picture uh, clearly just let me close it okay you see this one it's a dome shape and now let's talk about uh, the basic thing uh, you know let's for further talking about anything else about regarding diaphragm, we must discuss the origin of the diaphragm. So we have actually got three main origins. Uh, in this picture, which I uh, have found it, it explains it pretty good. So first origin, which we have got, is in the costal part. The costal part, or you can, you can say that uh, arising from the deep surface of lower six ribs. You can see this one from lower six ribs one two three four five and six count these one ribs so the costal part of the diaphragm actually arising from deep surface of the lower six ribs and the costal cartilages uh, this is about the first origin that is about the costal part and we have then got the vertebral part so on the vertebral part uh, uh, before discussing the vertebral part let's uh, talk about the external part uh, this is the sternum we have got an external part which actually arising from the posterior surface of the sternum I cannot show it here actually but not it's, uh, it's the anterior picture of the sternum uh, you just go back and look at the back side of it uh, you will find on the posterior surface sternum we have got the origin of the external part of the diaphragm and moving to the third point uh, and the third origin of the diaphragm which is the vertebral part which is a little bit complex it's not complex like it's a little bit in detail so it uh, vertebral part is actually arising by the vertebral column or crura and from the arcuate ligament three places like vertebral part is arising from three places that is vertical columns and the crura and from the arcuate ligament so we've got two crura that is the right crust uh, and the left crust so the right crust actually arises and uh, the right crust actually arises from side of the bodies of first three lumbar vertebra and intervertebral this get it right the right crust arises from sides of the bodies of the first three lumbar vertebra and Inward intervertebral disc and about about the left cr uh, crust. So it actually arises from the sides of bodies of the first two lumbar vertebra and intercordial disc. So no, nothing more different. Right crust arising from three lumbar vertebra, which is the first three lumbar, and on the left we have got first two lumbar vertebra. Uh, pretty easy to get the whole idea about this one. And uh, and a few things to other end on the lateral side of crura. The diaphragm actually arises from medial and lateral arcuate ligament. Remember this point as well. And uh, well, the last point I have to add is the diaphragm is actually is inserted into the central tendon, uh, which is uh, which is that is shape linked three leaves like this one. You get it? Get the picture? Now let's talk about uh, the shape of diaphragm. Uh, that is a pretty 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 easy but uh, I have to add up, add up few things uh, in the shape of the diaphragm so actually diaphragm covers up the right and left dome you get it in this picture in this 3d form so right dome what happens in right dome uh, the right dome reaches to the upper border of the fifth rib and left dome to the lower border of the fifth rib get it right dome to the upper border of the fifth rib and the lower border and the uh, left dome on the lower border of the fifth rib you know but remember it just like this left lower they both have the same ll you have to remember the fifth bar as well so uh what about the right dome so right dome is remember is higher uh because of because of the larger size of liver get it why if somebody asks why right dome is higher it's all you have to answer that it's all because of the larger size of the river uh the liver uh, sorry about the river <laughs> And uh, uh, this actually what uh, what what is the role of this dome? So this dome actually support right and left lung. 
it actually provides a lot of support to this uh, thing and central tendon support the heart you know the heart central tendon attaches uh, to the diaphragm so diaphragm when actually seen from the sides I cannot show it here easily but uh, you have to get it it's like an, it appears like an inverted J inverted J yeah it's, it appears like the inverted J now let's talk about the innervations you know Arisha, there is no arteries, all right? We have got only arteries, but we have to discuss the nerve supply. We're not going to talk about the arteries. So just let me tell you artery, uh, nerve supply. Um, just orally, you have to get, you have to just write it down in your, in your notes. So in the nerve supply, the motor nerve is actually the right and left phrenic nerve. Get it? The motor nerve for the diaphragm is right and left phrenic nerve. And in the sensory nerve, uh, we have got few things to remember. Uh, in the sensory nerve, the parietal pleura and the peritoneum uh, the covering the central surface of the diaphragm are from phrenic nerve. And the periphery of diaphragm is from lower six intercostal nerves. Get it? These two points are a little bit confusing, but you have to remember that we have got two sensory nerves, that is phrenic nerves and six intercostal nerves in the sensory nerve. But in the motor supply, we have got just phrenic nerve. So that's all about the uh, basic concept of the diaphragm. We have we had already made a video on the uh, uh, diaphragmatic openings. Uh, we're going to share it in the, and we are going to uh, make all those videos together, bring all those videos together in the playlist. Please make sure to visit Tiger Schooling and keep learning and be in touch with us. Thank you.